Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee, this is Reefer Explained. Today we're taking a quick look and an update on the Red Sea Reef 250. And this is gonna be on the AI blades um, for the 30 inch model, the 76.5 centimeters in length. And, and these will fit the uh, Reefer 250 G2 version. There are 90 centimeters, I believe, in length for the tank. So 76.5 centimeters will fit with the brackets that they include right on top of the tank. So uh, I'll um, add the um, screenshots uh, of my scheduling of what I'm running my lights at so you can see them. Um, I'll try and uh, include the link to upload um, the schedule if you like that as well. Um, but find your own preference. This lighting currently set um, I've not used a par meter, it's what I'm going off. Uh, it's currently working well with LPS corals, soft corals, and a few encrusting corals. Now I have a couple of acros in here or torts, but um, if you have a more dominant tank of something, you may wanna check and use a par meter, do your research, and see what fits your needs. So I went with the Reef um, new LED lighting for AI blades, simply because um, the form factor on top of the tank, how sleek they were, the ha not having the light directly in your eyes um, was a massive selling point for me. Um, and I just felt that the old hanging bracket lights over the top were very old fashioned and took your eyes away from the beautiful scape that, uh, and living aquarium that you've set up in your house. So... I went with these two models here in front of you if you're not aware of these. So the first one is the Grow, okay, at the top. It is the 30 inch model, as I've mentioned. It will work with the AI app and the Mobius app. They are compatible. If we just flip the box round just to explain what's on here. So the first one uh, is the Blue the royal blue and the cool whites. Now my cool whites are set at 30% throughout the day. The royal blues at 45 and the, the blue at 50%. Now I believe the blue is where the corals will grow. The royal blue will help and the cool white is more, I believe, for aesthetics for the tank. Obviously it will help the coral, but it's more to stop too much of that blue pop coming out. That's what I've got my take on it. Um, these are water splash resistant. I don't know the exact IP rating. You could check on the uh, box or the details. It might give you some indication. Um, I wouldn't want to drop them in the tank um, just because. Um, but there we go. So the grow is, as what it says, is going to grow the coral, sorry, should I say, with the blue, the royal blue and the white. So there we go. That's key number one. The second one is the glow. Now I wanted the pop for the for the tank like I had with the Red Sea LED 90s, which I loved, but I just wanted to get away from the aesthetics of it. Um, if Red Sea would come out maybe with their own uh, low profile uh, tank lights, then maybe in the future, because I love the Reef Beat app, um, I might consider. So we're using uh, the Royal Blue, the UV, and there's another UV. Um, on, on this one and this is more for the pop so again the UV um, uh, I can't remember the UV and there's another one I'll point them out on my actual thing but they are about 15% the Royal Blue is at 45% um, and you get the tank mountings included here which are the acrylic things I'll show you just behind and you can mount them in different positions uh, using different techniques and different arms. So there's the information there. You've got the sizing 30 inches, 76.5 centimeters. Here are them in all their glory. As you've seen in my previous videos, they look spectacular. This um, is not sponsored in any fashion form to my channel. Just something I feel passionate about, so I wanted to share and obviously give you the full scope and look of them currently. They're set um, on the schedule between 11, they ramp up um, and then they ramp down and they turn off at 
Um, it's uh, obviously given me um, that 10 hour window just over, um, but ramping up, ramping down. 50% uh, on the blue channel mainly and 35, 30% on the whites and 15 on the UV and 45% on the royal blue. That's where we're currently at with this system. So if we have a closer look, um, I might try and, let me just see if I can do this without blinding everyone. So the first one here, yep, yeah, it's blinding. So let me just, the first one is the glow. Um, and that is uh, obviously a little bit more kind of on the whiter side. Um, and then the, this is the grow one basically. Um, let me just check. Yeah, sorry, this is the grow. So the first one is for the corals, I believe. And the other one is the glow. Yes, and that is for the pop of the UV and the royal blue. So um, they, as I said to you, they will extend. So if I just show you, let me just, so you do it from the other end, we're not with a cable one. So if you just push out, you'll hear a click, because obviously they click into place, but they will extend. So you can push them out either side, sorry, should I say, and you can see they sit well within, there's loads of scope to go further. You potentially could go a little bit more. Um, I would probably go up if you're gonna go um, bigger than say, this is 90 centimeters, so I don't know if it will fit, it might fit 100 centimeters, another 10 centimeters either side but if you're gonna go any longer than that then you're gonna need a big you're gonna need the bigger versions of these basically that's what I'm trying to say um, they sit right on top they're really cool um, they, they they've done a, an amazing job with these you can see uh, the cables are really long as well which I love they they reach all the way down under the tank and they can plug in um, I think they're probably be a, maybe a three meter cord. Might want to check on the on the actual box of that though to clarify. Don't want to try and give you too much wrong information on this, but you can see they just sit straight on top. They deliver what they need to do. They don't get hot. They don't have fans. They're passive cooling. Um, I think they're amazing. You don't have to clean out the fans anymore like I did before on the old uh, Red Sea LED 90s. That was a pain. Uh, always worried that I was going to snag a cable taking out the fan to clean it or it's going to break on me I have to replace those parts don't have to do any of that anymore the best thing is when I'm sitting down I can barely see the blue light it's not shining right in my eyes it's not taken away from the aesthetics of the top of the tank with the arms coming over and ruining this whole space and now because I don't have anything over the top I'm probably going to put a lovely picture here uh, maybe something to do with C, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see about that because this is what my main focus is um, when I'm sitting back and enjoying the tank. Still uh, adding corals to the display. Um, I will be getting a shipment on Tuesday, funny enough, um, because I had to wait for the heat in the UK to dial down. They weren't going to ship. And I'll show you what they look like. Um, I'll get them out and I'll do an unboxing. And if you want to see that, please like and subscribe to this channel. So you can see that video. I'll show you what steps I go through, uh, what vendor I use, what vendors I use as well for coral. Um, really appreciate all the people that have tuned in to watch these videos. Um, I am a, a beginner, technically. I've been in the game um, in this hobby for ooh, 10, 15 years, um, but I'm still learning and it is a massive learning curve for this hobby. Um, Best thing to do with the lights is if you're not sure and you don't have a lot of corals in there, realistically turn the whites right down if it's a new display. You don't want to get an algae issue. Uh, and this is what I've had recently. Uh, you can see some clumps there. Now on these ones, I've taken these out because these come off the display, these pads, and I've scrubbed them in the same water. You don't want to scrub them in clean water or RO, it will kill the bacteria. Um, but this is something because it's a new tank syndrome on this display rock. This rock is from my old display that's over five years old and you can see there's no algae really growing anything on there. It just needs time to go through that ugly stage but I don't want it to overgrow and consume the corals. I will leave some in here for the sea urchin and the um, Lorma Blenny and the snails so I'm not going to go crazy and I'm not going to take out the whole display. You can see there's patches growing 
I'm not too concerned. I'm using some Nopox in here. I've always used Nopox. I just need to make sure you're running a skimmer. You can see on top there, there's the uh, starry-eyed uh, Lorma Blenny going to town, hopefully on the rock. Um, but yeah, guys, apart from that, it gives a great look to the tank, more natural, bluey pop, shimmery. Um, I think they've done a great job, as I said. I'm waffling on here. But if you like the video, you want to see more, I'll add the, um, the, all, all of the screenshots inside here of the settings. Um, and as I said, check out the AI blades. Thanks for watching. Take care.